Um, yeah, we have till um, 90 minutes before, but I would say that that's uh, more likely than not that, uh, you know, Ryan will, will start the game as the, uh, as the backup and be active. How's uh, Throckmorton when you kind of settled in and gotten up to speed in the short time he's been here? Yeah, we went on two days working hard, trying to figure out our system. And, you know, there's a lot of carryover offensive line-wise. It's just terminology um, as it relates to, uh, you know, what we call something and what we call play. But, um, again, seems to be conscientious and seems to be, you know, willing to, to study in a short amount of time. So see where he's at for the game. Bronze skill kind of been what you guys uh, expected or, or hoped for anyway in terms of consistency, dependability? Um, those are all things that we strive for. I mean, we're halfway through the season. You know, again, I'm glad that Daniel's here. But we, we, each and every week is different. And, you know, so not, I like coaching Danny, and I mean, he's kind of figured it out. I like his story. and. You know, where, where's he, how he's progressed through this league and made it, you know, all those types of things. And you know, so he's played in this league. And, you know, again, um, you know, we'll see how he does this week. And But that's the most important thing. You talked a couple of times about wanting to monitor Peter's progress at guard. Just how would you say that's gone in his first kind of full year playing that position? Well, not yeah, full year. We're halfway or, through. Yeah. I could, you know, let's, let's talk about the Jaguars. Not you know, Mid-season reports, not really what I'm looking for. I think Peter um, has had some you know, really good plays. Continue to talk about, you know, using length and pass protection, not letting guys get into our body. Uh, but love the competitiveness. You know, so we'll have to play with that this week. And very, very good defensive line uh, with the Jaguars. How much does Lawrence's mobility still figure into his game? I think it day. does. I mean, he's long strides, he gains ground. Um, you know, they have the ability to run the, the zone read and, and the read game with them. Um, you know, I mean, how much that showed up, probably less than normal. We have to be ready for it. But I know that he's gaining a lot of yards when he scrambles. You know, he's aggressive with it. It's not like he goes and just gets ready to slide. He, you know, he stretched out some 20-yard some gains um, with with the scrambles. And so... He takes a peek, he looks, he looks, and then, you know, if it's there, he's done a nice job of getting into the defense and, and breaking uh, breaking down the defense and gaining a lot of yards. You look at Christian Kirk and just the way that they use him. How does it stand out, you know, how they try to isolate and create matchups? Well, there's a lot of overs, a lot of, you know, option routes. You know, he's not just an option. I mean, he is, uh, he got some juice, he's got some speed, he's got route craft. You know, so it's not just uh, an intermediate short uh, option route runner. You know, he does a nice job on, on the overs. He does a nice job of going inside the hash and, and being able to, to break out, uh, you know, towards that, towards the pylon. But being able to have the quickness and the acceleration uh, to, to take it inside the hash, to sell it on, on the over and then break it back out. What would you say makes him <coughs> so good at getting yards after the catch? Him or everybody? Uh, Christian Kirk specifically. I mean, seven career punt return or kickoff return touchdowns in college. So uh, there's a skill set there. He's uh, he's fast. He's quick. Um, runs hard. He's, you know, again, those are all things that you know make for for guys that are good after the catch. We got one from Teresa here. She wants to know if you've ever heard a sideline reporter on a network fabricate any quotes from you while you've been in the game with all that stuff with Carissa Thompson going on. Have I ever heard? No, I haven't heard. I'm sure it'd be boring if they fabricated what I had to say. <laughs> yeah, don't all laugh at one time, guys. <laughs> I, was chig, I mean, Chig, I guess, battled like everybody else, ups and downs. How's he kind of handled working behind the scenes to, to get better? I've been good. Yeah, I mean, I think. Again, the only day that matters is, is game day. You know, we put work in, we have, you know, we study, we ask questions, and you know, but the one day that, that we have the test, like, and again, mistakes are going to happen. Can't let them mount up. Can't let one mistake turn into to another and to another. And uh, you know, confident that he'll um, 
you know, come back and, and, and make plays that, that are going to help us. How is Sean's week coming back with the thumb? And is there a chance that, I don't know, like a, a club or something like that could be a factor for him to allow him to be out there? No, he'll be out. Last year, this Jaguars team really got Evan Ingram going at times when they played you guys. What kind of challenge is it to contain him and defend him underneath with linebackers? Uh, you know, it's, it's a challenge. They do a nice job of getting them, you know, um, catch and run opportunities, keepers, um, things on the move, boots. Um, he, he's quick. You know, he's fast. He builds speed. It's very, you know. A lot of examples on tape of three or four yard uh, routes or catches that turn into 25 yards just he circles circles the guys up and so I agree with you uh, with the first game um, thought we did a much much better job and an understanding of how they were trying to play the game the second time you know, this year is a new year but uh, those those types of plays are still showing up you know with him and if teams can can tackle them, you know, that they've had success. And his average per catch is what it is. It's eight or nine yards. And to me, watching on film, it's either you know, 24 yards or it's two. And so uh, he has the ability to take those two and three yard routes and, and turn them into to 25 yard gains. Uh, if, if you're not careful and you don't tackle, uh, and you're not good in a perimeter when a ball gets out there. Anybody else besides the besides uh, Sean Dillard and Burks? And to to your question, uh, you know, I think you probably asked about he he had a good week of practice and uh, on the show team, you know, allowing him to to get some of those looks and what we would call a return to play. But um, just I probably glossed over some of that just because he was out. But yeah. yes, there was ability to get out and practice uh, and, and do some things, but. Probably try to give that thing another, uh, you know, week to to just heal from the procedure. But from what I saw, felt good, you know, helping us on the show team and, and getting his look in and his reaction and, and seeing things. Things continue to progress. Uh, you know, Will is uh, your coach here for uh, week four being out there with him. Um, you know, one day at a time, uh, trying to go out, win a game, however that is. Uh, you know, obviously Will. I feel like is uh you know getting a grasp of, of what this league is like and what it has to offer uh every game. What what can you say about the way this team in this tough time has been able to keep the morale up and, and refrain from pointing fingers at them? Um having a lot of guys who play a lot of football, that helps. Being uh, you know, me being on different team, other guys being on different teams and just uh, you know, going through certain certain things we went through uh at different places. I think us being here, uh, and obviously these guys here was in the same situation last year uh, that they are, that, that we are in now. So I don't think anybody is uh, you know too much worried about you know the record, uh, taking everything game for game. You get props in film study or, or film review, I should say, for you know for breaking up that uh, would be interception on Sunday. Uh, no, nah, not too much, not not too many props. Uh, you know, I didn't score a touchdown. That's my job. You know, not to break up the football, but um. You know, obviously it was a good play, and uh, you know, Tim Tim Kelly did mention it in the meeting uh, of you know what happened. But uh, you know, we're trying to score touchdowns down there, not not break up PBUs. You played a lot of AFC South games in your life. Just kind of what stands out, kind of stand out in particular about this division kind of rivalries. Uh, yeah, man, it's it's gotten better since I've been there. I would say just overall, uh, you know, it used to be a couple teams that you know would kind of run away with it, but. You know, it's, it's, it's up for grabs now, uh, which is good. Yonja, you, you mentioned how, like, this team has kind of been in this situation last year, and, and you've been on teams that have maybe struggled for stretches in, in your experience. What, from a, a mentality standpoint, does it take to, to make sure, like, things don't go off the rails, like, in, in your experience? Uh, from my experience, you know, it's focusing on your job more. Uh, worrying about what you can control and not what goes on around you. Uh, when I feel like, you know, when you're in a situation like that, it's easy to, to point fingers or, or, you know, speak on something that you can't control. But, uh, you know, when you kind of focus on what you have to do and just, just stay in, stay down that lane, I think it helps. Uh, because, you know, when your record is what it is, uh, you know, everybody can do something better. In, in 
and talking to some of the other receivers, they mentioned how sometimes you guys got to cut your routes a little short. But there's an understanding with, with Will as far as like when that has to happen. How do you develop that relationship and that understanding? Um, communicating with him after the play, uh, you know, practice, communicating with him on the sideline, speaking on speaking on certain things that we feel like we can hit, uh, you know, and certain things that, you know, if you know if he feel like he doesn't have time, uh, you know, just adjusting to it a certain way. But uh, you know that comes with just communicating with Will. Uh, you know, not really. You know, sitting there, you know, telling them, you know, everything we think, but allowing him to speak to us as well about what he sees. And then when you see, you know, over the last three weeks, like something like 33 QB hits, 11 sacks, you see him take that and come back to the huddle. What does that tell you about him? Uh, man, he's tough. That, uh, you know, he want to win. And, uh, you know, he's, he's trying to go out and make a make a name for himself and, uh, you know, help this organization win games. And you got to love that. Probably spend most of your time here, but um, what's the best thing you've discovered, I guess, about Nashville and their time here with a place to eat, place to hang out? Maybe um, to hang out. I would say places to eat. Surprisingly, there's some good food here. I, you know, I always was told that, you know, Nashville is known for its hot chicken, but they got some good restaurants here. It's just not, you know, hot chicken. So, uh, and I like to cook, but, you know, I eat out here and there. So, uh, it's definitely some good restaurants here. You got one place that stands out best for the others? Uh, yeah, maybe when, when they let me invest in them, but uh, <laughs> maybe I'll speak on it when I got my own restaurant here. Like it happen one day? Of course. What'd you call it? Uh, I might call it Nukes. Nukes. Oh. That, that might be a good one. Yeah. Sorry, a Nukes? E-W-K. Oh, no, nah, so it's not. Oh, we good then. It's, 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 it's not spelled N-U-K.